What's up, freaks? It's Steve Becker from PPC Personal Training Bootcamp and Boxing Emmanuel. We are getting set for a free live follow along at home boxing, kickboxing, cardio, weight loss training session. You're going to be coached through it step by step the entire way. We're going to be mixing in punches, kicks, knees, the whole thing. We're going for an hour strong, an hour straight, straight through. You don't need any equipment. If you have a bag, you can see like these freaks in the background have bags. If not, you could just use the air. If you have gloves, put them on. If you want to wear a light pair or hold a light pair of dumbbells, you can do that. You can hold a light pair of dumbbells and light, I mean real light, like one, two, three, maximum five pounds. Five pounds is probably even too much, but you don't even need anything. You can see I'm just using these small little gloves. I'm going to be right in the air doing this, using these while they're actually hitting bags back there. Some of them I'll go in the back to show you on the bags. We are going to be doing different kinds of kicks, every different kind of punch, all different kind of combinations. We're going to get rolling. So let's get warmed up. Let's get started. We are going to rock with our free online boxing, kickboxing, weight loss session. So let's start with all, we're going to go through all of our basic strikes to get you started. In case you don't know any of these strikes or any of these punches, perfect time right now as a refresher. If you do know them, you can never get too much practice. So let's start getting in your stance. Your hands are up by your cheekbones. Your elbows are in tight. You're light on your feet. If you're right-handed, your left foot is forward. Your right foot is back. So when you're looking at this live video on Facebook, realize this is my left hand, this is my right hand. So follow it as if you're in a mirror. So when I'm saying left, I'm throwing here. It might look like I'm throwing a right, but that's really left. So do it as if you're fo- you're looking in a mirror of just a real ugly, bald-headed guy. So left hand is here. So we're gonna start with just our one, our straight left is right down the middle. Palm starts facing in, ends up facing the ground. Your right hand stays glued to your chin. Just one at a time, just get loose. Find your rhythm, find your balance, find your flow. <laughs> Breathe it out for each strike. Just a straight left hand. That's your one. Learn these numbers. That is your one. Right down the middle. Your two is your straight right. Bam. Pivot this right foot. Turn your body so this right hip leads the way. Right hand, boom. Turn it over and recover. Left hand stays up in your chin while you're throwing it. While I'm talking, you just keep punching and punching while I'm coaching you through it. Right down the middle, a two. Right down the middle. At your straight right, your two. Let's go to our three. Our left hook, elbows up and out. It's bent about 90 degrees, moving parallel to the floor. That is your three, boom. Right hand stays glued to the chin. Look at my feet, boom. So I'm not cocking back way back here and leaving myself exposed. Just have that flow and rhythm from your body. You could just bang right into it, your three. Your three, let's go right into our four. That's our right hook, four. Elbow up and out. See, while I'm throwing this, look at my other hand. It's here at home, protecting my face. I'm pivoting this right foot. That's my four. My right hook, boom, boom. Get that left hand up the whole time. That's your four. Let's go with our five, our left uppercut, our lead hand uppercut. Crunching in the waist, in the body, in the obliques. Turn into it, boom, crunch, that's your five. Breathe out for each strike. Six, right uppercut, bam. Right underneath, think about coming right underneath the chin. Right uppercut is your six. Boom, we're gonna go with some front kicks. We're gonna go left side first. Left side front kick. So right here, just kicking straight forward, just loosening up your hips. Left side only. We're gonna switch our stance. Actually, we're gonna, we're gonna switch our stance when we're doing this. So bam, boom, get back into your stance. We're gonna get a quick switch stance, bam. You could do a quick jump switch, or you could just step back with that left leg. But we're gonna go with a left front kick. Straight forward, boom. Just step right into it. Kick that, bam, straight forward. Keeping those hands up. Let's go with the right front kick, loosening up those hips. Get those hips, hamstrings, glutes all fired up. Breathe it out, right front kick. So we are gonna throw roundhouse kicks also. A roundhouse on the bag would be here, you can see me over there, coming around. If you're in the air, it's a little awkward and weird to throw a roundhouse. So instead, you're just going to kick out to the side. You're just going to kick out to the side as a side kick instead of roundhouse. If you have a bag, you just turn this hip up and over. So practice those left side roundhouse. We're just going to call it a left ref roundhouse. Or if you're in the air, just go out to the side. Just on the left side. Keep your hands up. If you have a bag, bam, you're coming to roundhouse. Your hip comes up and over. Whip it across. We're going just left side. Just kick it out to the side. Let's go with the right, same thing. 
Bam, out to the side. Out to the side. Like, if you have anything, find something in your house to put up to bash, to kick. You can kick this. I've kicked the side of a couch before. Put a cushion up. Do what you have to do. Just a right side kick. We're going to go to those knees now. Left knee. Just one at a time right now. We're just getting loosened up. So get in your stance. Get in your rhythm. Find your flow. Get that bounce in your step. Left knee. Don't forget, everything's going to be opposite here on this camera. Left knee. Just get in moving. Just get in flowing. Left knee. We are just in the air right now. Just warming up. We are just in the air right now. Just warming up. Left knee. Let's go right into the right knee. Boom. Right there. Hands up. Find that flow. Get to keep your head moving. Your waist. See, I'm moving around. Using, burning a lot of calories. Using some energy. Flowing. Little rhythm. Little flow. Into just a single knee. We're just getting warmed up. We're going to build up some real long combinations. Variations. For right now. One strike at a time. Just getting shit started. Boom. That right knee. And that's good. Big forward shoulder circles. We're just getting warmed up. Just getting loosened up. Keep your feet moving. While you're doing these forward circles. And come backwards. Backwards with the shoulders. Keep your feet moving. Keep stepping. Come over the top. In and out with the shoulders. Right on my top. Right on my bottom. Fling it. Fling it. Catch it for a stretch. Fling it open. Catch it for a stretch. Boom. Alright, we're going to get a little more balance in your step. We're going to go two regular jacks. Four front to back jacks. Two Regular, four, front to back. Two, regular. Hands up while you're doing this. Two regular jacks. Four, front to back. Hands are up in your guard. Two regular, four split. One more time. Just getting the bounce in your step. We are just getting warmed up. Getting your blood flowing. Time, get a quick stretch of your quad. You're going to stretch for one to three seconds. You're going to stretch each side, each quad. One to three seconds, then each knee, you're gonna get a knee hug to your chest. One to three seconds. So it could literally just be stretch, stretch. Tuck the knee, hug the knee. Quad, quad, knee hug, knee hug. Right there. All right, let's put all six of those punches together. If you're loosened up, you could jump on a bag. Now you can go right on into a bag. And we're gonna mix these up in little mini combinations. We're gonna break them up into little simple combinations. So we're gonna start. With our one, which is our, a strike, an upper body strike with a lower body strike, creating just two strike combinations. So we're gonna start with just one left kick and reset. You have a bag, this is the time to start hitting your bag. It's just two strike combinations for real now. Boom, one left kick, reset. So it's your lead leg kick. If you can get that kick, look at my feet, without switch step, go for it. If you, if you have to, you can switch step on the kick. So it's just a straight left, left front kick. Move around. Bouncing your step in between. Straight left, left front kick. Get that leg up there, you're just getting warmed up. Just getting started, these are just two strike combinations. So just think of all those punches, one, two, three, four, five, six. And as I'm talking to coaching, you just keep going until I tell you to go on to the next thing. Think of that one punch going with the first Lower body strike. They're going to match up together all day in these patterns. So just left punch, left front kick. Light on your feet, in between, bounce, rhythm, flow. So you don't want to just sit there and just go bam, 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 bam. Not what we're looking for. We want you moving. We want some intensity. We want some bounce in your step, some flow, some rhythm. Keep those hands up and pump that kick in there. Punch, kick. All right, let's go to the other side. So according to that pattern, what's going to go with my straight right? Tyson. Two, and then right front kick. Right front kick. So we're matching the up and upper strike with the lower strike for these patterns we've been working on today. So two, right front kick. That leg's already back there, so it's bam, boom. This should flow. This should feel strong. So straight right punch, boom, right front kick. Straight right punch, bam, bam. Have a bag, start hitting the bag, start putting some work in. Two is a straight right, right front. Bounce, move, shuffle, reset, stay on the balls of your feet. Your heels should be off the floor. 
the entire time. So I can slide something under there. I'm moving, bouncing, ready to strike. Straight right, right front kick. Keep rolling, hands out. Don't forget, whatever hands not punching stays to your chin. Right front. Bounce and flow. Boom. Two, right front. Straight right, bam, right front kick. It matches together. The one went with the front left kick. The two goes to the right front kick. Boom, boom. Couple more. Keep flowing. Bam, bam. Light on your feet. Little rhythm. Boom, boom. Abs are already working. Legs are already getting fired up. So think about it. The one went with the left front kick. Keep rolling. Keep kicking. The two went with the right front kick. Now we're going to go three, and we're going to match it up with the left roundhouse. Four is going to match up with the right roundhouse. See how it's all going together. The straight, mid-range, and then the close range. So now we're going three. If you have a bag, left roundhouse. If you're in the air, just go left side kick. Three, left to the side. Three, left side. Bounce in your step. Little flow. Three is your left hook, and then left roundhouse if you have a, something to kick. Don't forget the roundhouse. She's so coming across if you can. Stepping into it, coming around with the roundhouse. If you don't have a target, we're just going with a side kick out to the side. Left hook, boom, kick to the side. Side kick. Three, left roundhouse. Even throw with throwing a side kick in the air, we're gonna call it a roundhouse because that's really what we would be doing and we're kind of simulating. We don't, doing a roundhouse in the air is just awkward, it's gonna spin you out of control, we don't need to do all that. Left hook, left round. Hands up, bounce, flow, rhythm, keep moving. I want some energy, I need to feel your energy through the damn internet, that's what I need to feel. Your hands are up, bouncing, flowing, ha, huh. kick. Reset, get back to your stance. Other side, we're going with our four. Our right hook, make sure you put it on that right foot. Right hook to right side kick or right roundhouse. Let's do it, we're rolling, we're up, begin, boom. Bam, flow, rhythm. Show you it on the bag, a couple back here. So we're going to right hook. Boom, right roundhouse. Bam, bam. You see on a bag, it flows a little better on a bag, a little different, because you have to go with that roundhouse. But do what you gotta do. Right hook, right roundhouse, or right side kick if you're using the air. Right hook again, hit with that right foot. Elbows up and out, left hand stays glued to your chin. Keep rolling, keep flowing. Three, boom, right kick. Reset. Four, boom, sorry, four, not three, right hook. up, hands up, a little rhythm, a little flow, ready to work, boom, boom, out to the side, get back to your stance, get your bounce, get your flow, get your rhythm, moving around, let's do it, boom, boom, on that right kick, and get back to your balance quickly, quick recovery, all right, we're going to a five, Tyson, what do you think is going to match up with our five, our left uppercut, left knee, exactly, look at that, we're feeling the Flow already. Left uppercut, left knee. See, now we're in close. That left uppercut's gonna match up with the left knee all day. Gonna match up the upper and lower body strikes. Let's do it. Left upper. You need some flow, some rhythm. Left upper, left knee. You need to have intensity. I'm telling you, when you're punching the air, your knee in the air, have some intensity. Oh, boom, boom, full speed. Otherwise, you're gonna get nothing out of this. I need you to go all out. Bring the freaking fire every second of every second. Bam, boom on the left knee. Reset, recover. Left upper, left knee. Bounce, flow, rhythm. Boom, boom with the knee. Got you on three cameras here. Facebook, Instagram, personal Instagram, gym page. So you're seeing a different angle. 
depending on what camera we're in front of. Left upper, left knee. Dig, dig, dig it. Left upper's matching with the left knee. Boom, boom. Time. Right into the six. The six is our right upper cut. Mass with the right knee. So you see how these all match together. Let's do it. Six, right knee. Bounce, flow, rhythm. Six, right knee. I need you to let it sink in your head. What punch is matching with what lower body strike? Upper strike or lower strike? These patterns are going to help you. And then we're going to flip up the pattern on you as we go. Right upper, right knee, follow, crunch, boom, that knee up the middle. Crunch, boom. Lighten your feet, bounce, bam, bam. Crunch it, crunch it, crunch with that punch that you're coming underneath the chin, working the obliques, the lats, powers coming from the ground up from the legs. While I'm talking, while I'm giving you some cues and corrections, make sure you're still striking. You keep going. So I tell you, bam, boom, the next thing to do. And time. You should already be getting your heart rate up there. You should already be getting warmed up. You should already be getting some sweat going. So if you saw how we match this up, the one went with the left front. The two went with the right front. The three went with the roundhouse. The four went with the right roundhouse. The five left upper cut went with the left knee. The six went with the right knee. The reason why I showed you all that in order just like that, because we're now about to do that as a whole long combo, just putting that all together. I'll walk you through it the first time. If you already know it, bang it out. If you need help, just follow along as I'm going through it. Go at your own pace. If you know it, full freaking speed ahead. This is Operation Keep Freaking Moving. And we're moving forward. So let's put all that together. So it's one left front. Two, right front. Three, left roundhouse. Four, right roundhouse. Five, left knee. Six, right knee. I'm gonna walk through it several times. If you have this down, just go faster, go at your own pace. I'm just gonna keep it slow for you if you need to follow it. So one, left front kick. Straight right, right front kick. Left hook, left roundhouse. Right hook, right roundhouse. Left uppercut, left knee, right uppercut, right knee. Keep saying this together. It's a 12 strike combo. I need you to put it together. I need you to go all out. Once you have it down in your head, keep freaking flowing. We just built it up in little segments. Now we're just combining together everything we've already done. Basic stuff. Keep it rolling. I'll call it out as we do it. One, left kick. Two, right kick. Three, left kick. Four, right kick. Five, left knee. Six, right knee. Chain it together. Let's see how Tyson's doing back here. See it from the top. One, left front kick. Two, right front kick. Left hook, left roundhouse. Right hook, right roundhouse. Left uppercut, left knee. Right uppercut, right knee. And this is the first time he's ever done this drill, ever done this combination, and he just nailed it first try. And he's eight years old. He can do it, so can you. Just follow the steps. Focus. I need you mentally focused just as much as physically focused. Let's do it. One, left kick, two, right kick, three, left kick, four, right kick, five, left knee, six, right knee. You have it down, I need you to go a little faster, a little faster pace. See how you could just let that flow. Let each piece match up with each other. Each move is setting up the next move. Just flowing. One more time, one more time. I'll call it out just so you can drill it into your brain. Nice and slow for this last one. Straight left, left front kick. Straight right, right front kick, left hook. Left roundhouse, right hook, right roundhouse, left upper, left knee, right upper, boom, right knee, and time. 
So what we're going to do now, we have whatever, every, we know everything is matched up with each other. We're now going to include the opposite. So right now, the left jab, instead of the one, instead of going with the left kick, we're going to go with the right front kick. And then we're going to repeat that pattern for all of them. We got that? Yeah. yeah. So we're starting. It's still two strike combos. We're still building you up. So we're on, we're right out to our bags. So it's left, one, straight left, into a right front kick. So just the opposite of what you just did. We're just maxing up, matching A with B instead of A with A, if that makes sense. Makes sense in my head. So straight left, right front kick. One, right front kick. Some of these are going to flow even better. One, right front. Straight left, straight kick. Get that rhythm, get that flow, get that bounce back. You should already be getting out of breath. You should already be sweating. Your temperature, body temperature should be up already. Get that leg up there. Hands up. Straight left, right front kick. Bounce in your step. I need some flow. I need some rhythm. Boom. Bam. Right down the middle. Hands up. We're pumping. We're flowing. We are punching and kicking all day. Let it out. Let out the freak. Let out the beast. Pop. Boom on the kick. Pop. Boom. I'm going to kick that phone over. That camera's going to come crashing. So following that pattern, who can tell me what's going to go with my two? What's going to go with my two? Your left front kick. Left front kick. Bam. We already know. Once you know the pattern, once you know those first couple sets, you're going to know how this entire workout goes. So now we're on the opposite. Two, which are straight right, left front kick. So pivot. Boom. Bam. And switch step if you have to. So it's a straight right. Boom. And left front kick. Let it flow. Find your own rhythm. Chain them together. Two. Left front kick. Some bounce. Some flow. Some speed. Some intensity. Just because you're punching the air doesn't mean you're half assed I need you to keep banging. Straight right. Left front kick. Follow along, keep moving, keep driving, keep pumping it, keep banging it. Straight right, left front kick, boom, boom. All right, now we're going to get tricky. Time. We got our left hook coming up. Tyson, what's going to go with our left hook? Our right roundhouse. Bam, he's already got it. He's got the pattern. So our left hook is going to go with our right roundhouse. So we're just going with the A of the upper body with the B of the lower body. The opposite we did last round. Left hook, right roundhouse. Or if you're in the air, you're just going to side kick. If the side kick doesn't work for your hips for whatever reason, just go with the front kick again. No big deal. We'll go on the opposite side. So it's left punch. Right kick. And get back to your stance. Find your balance, your flow, your rhythm, full speed, full intensity. Boom! Bam! Left hook. Right round house. On a bag. Here's how it's going to look on the bag. It's going to just flow together. It flows good. It's bam. And your body weight's already shifted in there. You should just shift yourself right into that roundhouse. Those hands up. We need a quick recovery. All right. We're going to follow this pattern. Time. We have so many combinations to get to. We're going to keep this rolling. So now we have right hook going with left roundhouse. Left roundhouse if you're on a bag. Left side kick if you're in the air. Let's roll. Begin. Four. That's your right hook into a left roundhouse or left side kick. Four. Reset. Keep those hands up. Flowing. Ready to move. Ready to punch. And boom. 
and kick. Right hook, left roundhouse. Right punch, left kick. Listen, if you're punching, kick in the air, and that side kick feels a little weird on your opposite side hip, just go with the front kick, or go with an angle front kick, a little outside the side, and open those hips up a little bit. Modify before you stop. Keep freaking moving. Die before you quit. Hands up, right hook, boom! That right hook needs to be full speed, powered by your hips, by your body while you're keeping the left foot up. Pivoting this right foot. We have a right hook, left roundhouse. Hands up, keep moving. It's right punch, left kick. Keep back, keep rolling. Boom, and time. So now we have left uppercut, which is our five, added with our right knee. You know, we're going on the opposite side of the lower body strike that we matched with the upper body strike. So it's left upper, boom, right knee. This one's gonna flow pretty smooth. So you can just bang those out one after the other. Left upper, right knee. And reset, flow. Let me see your rhythm. Let me see your body flowing. Let me see the sweat pouring. Bounce, flow. See, look at all this movement that I'm giving you. This is the movement you need to have in between. Do not just stand flat-footed and still. You're going to waste your time. You're going to waste your energy. You're going to waste your freaking life. Keep freaking moving. Energy, flow, bam, boom with the right knee. Left upper, dig that left upper, in. boom, boom. If you're not getting out of breath, if you're not getting a little sweaty, you're doing something wrong. Left upper, right knee. Drive. A few more, a few more. Boom, boom. Bounce, flow, rhythm, upper knee. They flow together. Time. We're going with our right uppercut. What's it going to go with, Tyson? With our flat. Right uppercut. Right uppercut goes with the left knee. So, bam, boom. See, it's our A upper body strike, B lower body strike. So the opposite. Last round, you remember, was right upper with right knee. All we did is switched it. Right upper goes now with left knee. Just to get your body working in all different directions, changing angles, working your core, your hips, your legs, your glutes, your quads, like freaking crazy. This is the ultimate ab workout. If you're doing this stuff correctly and you're putting out and you're putting some intensity and you'll never need to do a crunch the rest of your life. Think of every exercise, every workout as an ab exercise, as an ab workout, as a core workout, as a core exercise. Keep your core tight every second of every exercise. Right upper, left knee. Breathe, breathe for each strike. Breathe out for that upper. Breathe out for that left knee. Chain them together. Right upper, left knee. One more, one more. Ah, yes, time. So we hit all of those combinations, those six com reverse combinations. Now we got to put that all in order like we did with the first round. So I'll go in slow while you're just catching your breath there for a second. You're going one, right front kick right away. Two, left front kick. Three, right roundhouse. Four, left roundhouse. Five, right knee. Six, left knee. All in order. I will walk you through it. Just follow me right along. If you have it down like these freaks behind me, just go at your own speed, your own pace. I'll walk you through here in the beginning, nice and slow. Let's roll. One, right front kick. Straight right punch, left front kick. Left hook, right roundhouse. Right hook, left roundhouse. Left uppercut, right knee, 
Right uppercut, left knee. You got it yet? Do you got it? Let me see it, let me see it. Show me, let me feel your energy. Let me feel your sweat pouring through the internet. Put it together. Did one there without saying it, just to see if you can follow along. I'll call it out again. Keep moving, keep flowing, keep following. Go at your own pace. Do what you gotta do. Stay with me, I'm gonna go nice and slow. I'm gonna walk it through this. Straight left, right front. Straight right, left front kick. Left hook, right roundhouse. Right hook, left roundhouse. Left upper, right knee. Right upper, left knee. There it is, right there. Bang it out, let me see what you got. On your own, put it all together. There it is, the whole chain. Did one a little bit faster there for you to see how it goes with the flow. I'll walk through again a little slower. Let's keep freaking moving. Right front kick, straight right punch, left front kick, right hook, or sorry, left hook, right roundhouse, right hook, left roundhouse, left upper, right knee, right upper, left knee. Finish the chain. Let me see it. One more time. Full speed ahead. Time. If you pick that up, you should be freaking proud of yourself if you were able to find that flow and that rhythm. It's your body, your brain, just moving different directions, having to switch, having to change, having to shift your weight, working your entire body there. Crazy circuit there you just did. So give a little fist bump. If you're able to do that on all the different screens, multiple fist bumps. Let's get rocking with the next round. So that's the end of the two strike combinations. We're now gonna go to four strikes. So we're gonna go with the two punches. One, two, what would be the equivalent leg strike? Tyson. Left front. One, two, what's the equivalent of the lower body strike? I mean, right front. Oh man, left you're starting kick, to lose it. Kick. Oh, two punches, front, two kicks. Left front kick, then right. So we have one, two, left front, right front. That's it. Just that four strike combo. That's our new pattern. Think A, it's the one, two, and then they're matching lower body. Go around the back. We're rolling. Begin. So we're on left straight punch, right straight punch, left kick, right kick. That's it. One, two, kick, kick, reset. So it's a four strike combo. Nothing to think about in this one. But obviously, you know, we're gonna build this up to a long chain, so let this drill into your brain. One, two, kick, kick. These are just front kicks. Straight left, straight right, left front, right front. Hands up, let it flow. Boom. Left front, right front. Bounce, flow. Rhythm, let me see what you got. Nothing to think about in this one. It's just straight left punch, straight right punch, left front kick, right front kick. Easy stuff. Let me see your flow, let me see your rhythm. Put it together. Hands up, rhythm. Lower if you need to catch up. Straight left punch, straight right punch, left kick, right kick. Those are front kicks. Put them together, let it flow. One more, punch, punch, kick, kick, time. All right, so now we have three, four going with Yes! Three, four, that's the left hook. Right hook going with left roundhouse, right roundhouse kick. So it's still left, right punch, left, right kick. It's just our hooks and our roundhouses or if you're in the air, your side kicks or angled front kicks, whatever works for your hips, whatever works for you. 
Well, let's do it. So three, four, three, four, left kick, right kick. Left hook, right hook. Left side kick, right side kick. Three, four, left kick, right kick. Bounce, rhythm, recover, reset. Keep it flowing. So that's a left hook, that's your three. Right hook, that's your four. Left kick, right kick. Together. Listen, this stuff's up. You are not pushing hard enough. So I'm in fairly decent shape. And this stuff is getting me out of breath. This stuff is getting me tired. This stuff's got me sweating. It better to get you tired and sweating and working and out of breath. Left hook, right hook. Left kick, right kick. You could just go an angled front kick if you have to. Do what you gotta do if those side kicks in the air don't work for you. If you're on a bag, you're on a roundhouse kick. Do what you gotta do. Modify before you stop. One more. And time. Right upper going with left knee, right knee. There we go, he's got it in the background. Dead on, first try. So five, six, left knee, right knee, easy stuff. Let's roll. Go, boom, boom, begin. Left upper, right upper, left knee, right knee. Five, six, knee, knee. Knee, knee. Five, six, left knee, right knee. Give yourself a target with those gloves so you can have something to boom, drive up, or even your hands. Boom! Or your neighbor, whatever works. Let it flow, get those abs and core to it. My shirt is already soaking wet, you better be sweating. You better be pushing, you better be working. Keep moving, keep those hands up. Left upper, right upper, left knee, right knee. Change it together. Let it flow. Follow along live if you can. Bounce, flow, rhythm. Boom, boom, boom. Bam, drive those knees. Take those knees in there. Left upper, right upper, left knee, right knee. One more time. Boom, full speed. Time. All right. So now we did a one, two. Left front, right front. Three, four. Left round, right round. Five, six. Left knee, right knee. We broke that up into three, four strike combos. We are now putting all 12 together in a chain like we did with that first group. But I am confident that you've been picking up this flow, that you've been picking up the rhythm, you've been picking up the pattern. But I'm still gonna walk you through the first one or two, nice and slow, so you can get it down. Let's put it all together. So we're on one, two, left front, right front, three, four, left round, right round, five, six, left knee, right knee. Walk through it again nice and slow if you have it. Don't wait for me. Do not let anyone hold you back, including me. Drive forward, move forward full speed if you got it. Straight left, straight right, left front, right front. Left hook, right hook. Left roundhouse, right roundhouse. Left upper, right upper. Left knee, right knee. Flow with it, chain it together. Pick up the speed a little bit without calling it out. Let's see what you got. See how you can make that flow? All 12 strikes. As I'm talking, as I'm coaching you through it, make sure you keep moving. Do not stop. Keep driving forward. 
Put it together. I'll go slow for another one so you can get those punches down. One, two, left front, right front, three, four, left round, right round, five, six, left knee, right knee. Chain them together. Let's roll. Faster pace, pick up the pace, full speed. A few more, a few more, I'm working through this, trying to see your comments as you're going. Keep banging, chaining it all together. One, two, left front, right front, three, four, left round, right round, five, six, left knee, right knee, Boom, keep rolling. A couple more times. One more time, one more time. And time. Boom. All right, now we're gonna make this one a little bit easier. This is gonna be just a 12 strike combo straight through. All six uppers, all six lower strikes in the order we've been doing. So it's just gonna be a one, two, three, four, five, six, kick, kick, round, round, knee, knee. So all six punches followed right away by all six lower body strikes. Are we ready to roll? Are we ready to roll? Yeah! Yeah, let's go. What's that little one doing in the back? Absolutely. Follow along. Let's do it. Put it together. All 12. A lot easier than the, the combination of the last round. So it's just one, two, three, four, five, six. Kick, 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 kick. Knee, knee. It just all goes left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. 12 straight strikes. Six punches, six lower body strikes. We are banging. Chain them together. Keep moving. All six punches. All six kicks. So I'll go slow in this next one. Just make sure you got it down. Straight left. Straight right. Left hook. Right hook. Left upper. Right upper. Left front kick. Right front kick. Left roundhouse. Right roundhouse. Left knee. Right knee. Keep rolling. You got the combo. Keep banging it out. Keep banging it out. Who's going to light along with me live? Keep blowing. Keep banging. Let's roll. Those first six punches come out smooth and flow. Straight, straight. Hook, hook, up, upper. Front, front. To the side, to the side. Knee, knee, your whole body's working. Multiple directions, keep moving, keep grinding, keep pushing, freaking forward. Drive those in there, you have a bag. Let's see Tyson rocking it over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Front kick, front kick, roundhouse. Roundhouse, knee, knee. Can you see him back? You can see him back there. Let's watch him on that bag from the top. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper, upper. Left front kick, left roundhouse. Boom. Look at that. All six lower body strikes. Keep rolling. One more time. One more time. Time. How are we feeling? We should be rocking, rolling. If you're not sweating right now, if you're not out of breath right now, you're doing something wrong. You working hard? Yeah. You sweating? You better be sweating. This kid is soaked. That's the way you should be. Dripping, freaking sweat. Working, freaking hard. Moving, freaking forward. That's all you can do at a time like this. Let's just keep driving. Let's keep rolling. What we're gonna do next? We're gonna take a break from those long combos. We're gonna do doubles of just our punches. So all six punches, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're just gonna go two of each, chaining it together. 
So it should sound like this. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. See, I was just two of each. It sounded like it was a lot more difficult of a combination than it is, but all it was was one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. But let it flow. So the second of each punch, right here, my second left, boom, boom, change to the first of the next. My second of this, boom, boom, change to the first of that. And then boom, 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 and a final bam. Doubles. Try to find that rhythm. Let's roll. I'll show you how it goes. You're on the bag if you got one. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. You have little mini two punch combinations just chaining together to get all freaking six in a row. Keep driving. See how we just chain that together? Simple stuff. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. And don't forget whatever hand's not punching stays glued up to your face. Again, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. So it's straight, 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 hook, 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 upper, 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 upper. So it goes left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, boom, right. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see that rhythm. Let me show me you got some rhythm. Show me you got some coordination. The Instagrams, the Facebooks. Let's roll. We even got a phone, got MySpace going out, tweetering all over the place. One more time with the doubles. It's one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, and time. We're gonna play the same game with the lower body strikes. If you kept that same order with the ones. If the one was this for your punches, your one was this for your kicks. We're just gonna hit two of each, simple as that. I'll walk it through it nice and slow. If you have a bag right along, if you're already clicking in your brain, you go at your own speed. So it's just two of each lower body strike. So it's two front kicks on the left, two right front kicks, two left roundhouse, two right roundhouse, Two left knees, two right knees. It's just two of each. That's it. All lower body. Simple stuff. Let's roll. Just by doubling up adds a whole different dynamic, a whole different feel to the combo. Feels like completely different strikes. Chain all the lower body strikes together. Let's see Tyson rocking it. Coming from the top, from the top. So he's got two left front kicks, two right front kicks, two left round, two of each. Start over from the top. Kicks, two left front kicks, two right front kicks, two left round house, two left round house, two right round house, two right round house, two left knees, two left knees, two left knees. Two left knees, two right knees. It's just two beats, stop overthinking it. Two beats, two beats. So two left front kicks, two right front kicks, two left roundhouse, two right roundhouse, two left knees, two right knees. Tyson, you ready for your retest? Yes. Let's see it. Two left front kicks, two right front kicks, Two left roundhouse, two right roundhouse, two left knees, boom, nailed it. Sometimes it takes a second to click, but now we got it. Now it's clicked for life. Rewiring your brain, rewiring the way you think and move and act and attack. Keep rolling one more time. Two left front, two right front, two left round, two right round, two left knees, two right knees, boom, and time. We're now gonna go doubles of our punches, but reverse order. So six, five, four, three, two, one. I'll go slow for the first one, but you should be banging out full speed on this. So it's just six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, 
One. So you just did two of each punch. Don't overthink this. Just make each, the second of each punch, chains into the combination of the first, of the next punch. So it's just six. Six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. We got that? So it's six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. So it's right up, right up or left up, left up or right hook, right hook, left hook, left hook's right straight, right straight, left straight, left straight, finishes on its own. Just doubles, reverse, six, five, four, three, two, one. Easy stuff. Don't forget, whatever hand's not punching stays up your chin, bouncing your step, lighting your feet. You better be out of breath. You better be dripping sweat. This shirt is soaked right now. Dripping wet. Just two of each. Upper, 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 upper. Hook, 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 hook. Straight, 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 straight. Six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Let's see it one more time. And that was your doubles time. All right, shake it out. Let's keep rolling. You know that the, we don't have a break. We're not stopping. We're just gonna keep driving forward. Right now, what you're gonna do is run and punch. It's gonna be about 20 seconds. Then you're gonna just sprint your uppercuts for 20 seconds. From there, I'll call it out. It's gonna be run and punch, uppercut sprints. Plank and punch, straight punch sprints. I'll call it from there. You'll follow the freaks behind me. You'll follow me, I'll be doing it in the air. So let's kick start this. Run and punch on your bags. Run and punch. Let's roll. I will call the switch. All out. Go. I can see how fast you're moving out there. Facebook, Twitter, Instagrams. Five seconds. And time. Right into uppercut sprints. Twist the body. We're burning out. Time. Plank and punch. If you have a bag, you're punching your bag. Your face should be pouring sweat right now. Like you got hit in the head with a hatchet and sweat came pouring out instead of blood. You should see a pile of sweat on the floor as you're looking down right now. Time! Straight sprints, straight punches. Time! Jack and punch. Feet go apart, punch together, punch together, apart together. Bam, bam, pick up the pace. You have a bag, you're hitting it. Time, hook sprints, burn them out, hooks, burn them out. Hips, hips, pivot. Time, crunch and punch. Sit up and two punches. If you see me, you can still see me. Sit up, left, right. Sit up, right, left. Sit up, two lefts. Sit up, two rights. Again. Right, left. Left, left. Right, right. You're gonna freak style it. Freak style it, that means let your punt hands go. Any punches you want, on your feet, sprint it, go. Freak style, let them go. Time. We're gonna run through that burnout circuit one more time. 
Start with that run and punch. So it was run and punch, uppercut sprints, plank and punch, straight punch sprints, jack and punch, hook punch sprints, crunch and punch with the freak style. Last eight sets. Let's roll. No excuses. Run and punch. Boom. Go. Time. Uppercut sprints. Turn that body, especially if you're in the air, get that waist turning. Time. Plank and punch. Punch sprints. Let's roll. Burn it out. Come on. Time. Jack and punch. We're halfway there. Feet go apart. Punch comes out. Feet come together. Hands come together. Back to your chin. Pick up the pace. Punch it out. Pop it out. Jump it out, jack it out, freak it out, beast it out, time. Hook, sprint, let's roll. Time. And crunch and punch on your backs. Get up, punch, sit up. And boom, boom, sit up, right, left, sit up, left, left, sit up, right, right, one more time, left, right, right, left, 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 right, right, time, finishing off, letting those hands flow, freak styling it, our freak style. Let it flow. Any punches, go. Time. And we are done. Listen, I'm not even hitting the bag. These two freaks are hitting the bag back there. Working just as much. But they're intensely not hitting the bag to show you. You don't need any fancy equipment. You don't need any gloves. You don't need a bag. I am dripping sweat. My arms are shot. My legs are shot. My core is shot. And if yours isn't, you need to check yourself and push yourself a little harder. You need to be thinking about it. You're trapped in your home right now. So we're done, just start catching your breath. Move around, stretch your shoulders out while I'm talking. Stretch your shoulders. Hold it for 30 seconds, hold that stretch. So you need to think about it. If you're sitting there, Bitching and moaning, crying and complaining, going all over the internet, fling it open, stretch the other side. How you're stuck in your house, you're stuck with your, your kids are home all day, you're stuck around your family, your spouse, your partner, your pet goat, or whatever the hell it is you got in your house. If you're sitting around and complaining about these things, think about it. Think, of, think about this really logically. The house that you spend probably like 40% of your, your freaking, your, your pay on, just to pay for your house when it comes to utilities and rent or mortgage and, and renovating it and fixing things. The amount of effort and time and money and energy and passion you put in just to your house and you can't stand to be in your house. Then it comes to your kids. I see complaining all over the freaking internet talking about, oh my God, I'm stuck in the house with these kids. Someone tell me, how do I handle this? What do I do? I'm losing my mind with these kids all day. They're your kids, your kids. So let me tell you something. I'm gonna break this down to you because some people just need someone in their life that tells them shit straightforward. And as you know, I'm not afraid to tell things straightforward. That if you are one of those people that are complaining about this stuff and bitching and moaning and uses this situation as an excuse to complain, 